These crystals that you see here today are in the modernmusecrystals.com. There's a lot of pieces that I don't even have on this table. I wish I could show you them all, but you'll have to go check them out on the site modernmusecrystals.com. So today's pick a card reading is all about answering the question, what kind of self-care do I need right now? So if you are new to pick a card readings, here's how it works. You are going to pick the pile that you are the most intuitively drawn to. So here we have pile one with the amethyst crystal. And I love using amethyst for like just calming my, you know, my nerves, feeling like tranquility, feeling at peace and connecting with my higher self. And then here we have pile two with the black tourmaline chunk. And so black tourmaline is a protective stone and a grounding stone. So it's amazing, especially for all you empaths and you highly sensitive people out there. You definitely want to have tourmaline or some kind of black obsidian in your um, crystal wheelhouse. Okay, and then here we have pile three with the celestite egg. So with the celestite egg here, I love it. It just helps you um, feel connected to the heavenly realms. It really promotes this sense of ease and just um, calmness and tranquility. So um, <clears throat> I feel like this one is very similar to like when you reach for an amethyst, but I think that this one feels like a gentler like baby energy. I don't know. That's just the vibe, like angelic energy. That's the vibe that I get from Celestite. So okay, if you need more time, please go ahead and pause the video. But when you are ready, you can go to the description of this video, go ahead and find the timestamp that is linked to your pile and then you can skip ahead to your personal reading. So let's dive right into it. I'll see you on the inside. Hi, Pile One. If you chose the Amethyst Crystal, then you are in the right spot. And let's dive right into your reading. Okay, so Pile One, the first card that you have is the Six of Swords in Reverse. So with the Six of Swords in Reverse here, um, you know, I feel like it's looking like the type of self-care that you need has something to do with letting go or making a transition or traveling somewhere. Um, you know, I do feel like some of you are, you know, either about to go through a personal transition or a journey, um, you know, or you're about to. I also feel like there's a big sense of change that's in the air. So you might be feeling, you know, like some resistance um, because, okay, if we look at the card this way, right, they are traveling and I'll bring the card even closer if you can see. The waters are pretty turbulent, they're pretty choppy, but it looks like they are trying to make a transition, <clears throat> trying to move on. But when we have it in reverse here, um, there could be the energy of just resisting changes and transitions. You know, I feel like when we feel resistance to change, um, it's completely normal and it happens when we leave behind familiar things. So I feel like a lot of you are going to realize that you need to let go of something that isn't serving your highest good. So maybe this is a toxic relationship. Maybe this is a flaky friendship. Maybe this is a job that doesn't fulfill you. Um, you know, maybe it's living a life that isn't in alignment with your authentic self. Um, you know, but I'm really feeling the element of wanting to go through this personal transition in private, and this is absolutely okay. Just know that you can reach out for support too. Um, you know, we are strong, we can handle things, but sometimes it's a better journey when we feel supported, um, whether that's, you know, by a therapist, by a dear friend, by a family member, by a sibling, right? Um, 
I do think since the swords have to do, you know, the, okay, this, the, the suit of swords, right? In the tarot, we've got the suit of cups, the suit of swords, the suit of wands, and the suit of pentacles. So the suit of swords has to do with the realm of the intellect and the mind and communication. So I also feel like some of you are going to be leaving behind some self-limiting beliefs and behavioral patterns that are not serving you either. So if you are feeling any discomfort while expanding yourself into like into new territories, just know that, you know, this feeling it's going to be temporary and just keep reminding yourself of your why because this is what's going to represent you leaving behind your past, right? And moving into new horizons and I feel like this is going to be a much needed change in your energy um for sure. So Yes, that's what we have with the Six of Swords. Okay, let's get into your next card. So the next card that we have here is the Knight of Pentacles. So let me just bring this up closer. Okay, so with the Knight of Pentacles here, I do feel like you're being directed to dive into some sort of routine because the Knight of Pentacles, they're very um, determined and responsible. They're okay with doing their routine, mundane things because they know it's going to move them closer to their goal. So when I see this in a self-care reading, I'm thinking maybe you need some sort of self-care routine, maybe a better sleep routine, um, a better hygiene routine, skincare routine, you know, daily walks after work, you know, you catch the drift. Um, this represents the energy of needing to slow down, right? This is like slow and steady wins the race. Because I do feel like some of you have been plowing forward um, methodically and, you know, working towards manifesting your goals and your dreams and your desires. Um, and this is your confirmation that you're doing an excellent job. But it's time to bring in more ease and flow into your daily routine, especially as it has to do with work-life balance. And, you know, although it's never really, like, I had a friend, because I've always, like, worried about, like, work-life balance. Like, am I spending enough time with my kids? Am I spending enough time, like, investing in my work so that I can provide for my family? Um, and I've always been so caught up in, like, the work-life balance of everything. And, you know, sometimes, um, well, a friend of mine had told me that actually, like, we can do away with the idea that there is this, like, work-life balance because it's not it's rarely ever balanced in a 50-50 way, like especially when we, when we get super busy and like caught up with the day-to-day -day responsibilities of life, um, we can feel like, you know, we can be prone to rush through things so we can just cross them off our to-do list. So you are being asked to deliberately slow down your energy in some way. Maybe, you know, this looks like walking at a slower pace rather than speed walking your way to work, right? This is going to be that energy of assessing the path ahead before rushing through to take action. I also feel like you may have been feeling bored with some of the repetitiveness of daily life. So this is your call to do some self-care that is different and fun for you. Like for example, go off-roading or go on a hike, right? To a beautiful summit or take a day trip to a town that you've been dying to explore. Do something that feels really revitalizing to your soul because we can achieve big things when we're not burnt out. So remember to slow down and take care of yourself. Okay, and the next card that we have here is this yellow bird with black wings and, you know, a black tail and a black spot on their head. So what I'm getting is that some of you might get your self-care in through singing or music because when I see birds, I always think of the message of music and how healing that can be. No matter if you feel like you're musically inclined or not, music is so absolutely healing to the soul. And I mean, just think about it, like think about that one song that like really spoke to you when you were going through a really hard time and nobody understood, or maybe you just didn't talk about it with anybody else, but that song really affirmed you and made you feel really good. I feel like that's the way that music is really healing. And 
you know, some of you might be like very clairaudient, which is for those of you who um, are into looking into the different types of intuitive abilities um, that, you know, a person might have like the claircognizance, clairvoyance. There we go. I'm like, what's the other clairs? Um, that kind of stuff. You know, I feel like some of you are very clear audience. So intuitive messages come through um, your hearing, through sound, through music. Um, you know, whether you hear like a certain line in a song and it's like kind of like an aha moment to something that you've been like stressing about. I feel like just pay attention to signs and messages that come through music for you. And then the back of this card says, I would like to oh, here. Let's bring it closer. Okay, I would like to paint the way a bird sings, Claude Monet. So yeah, it, I feel like this quote, it really talks to, it really speaks to this idea that there are some things that can't even be put into words that are so beautiful. So I think that, you know, for some people, it's that feeling when they make it to the top of the mountain and they're looking, you know, around and they make it to that summit and they're like, wow, and it's just like, they're blown away there's no way you could even photograph that feeling, right? There's there's no way you could like write it down and, and replicate that feeling because only you could feel it in that moment. And I'm feeling like some of your self-care also has to do with you doing that one thing that really like brings that rush and that like revitalizing energy into you. Because I feel like maybe some of you, you're right, we've been feeling a little slow, stagnant, stuck. So yes. That is the message with that yellow bird card. Okay, and then the next card that we have here is Awakening. Okay, so Awakening. So this is, oh my Lord, wake me from life as a spiritual sheep. May I hear you through my own instincts and common sense. So I would go ahead if, okay, if um, the word Lord like triggers you in any way or you don't resonate with that, go ahead and substitute that for whatever resonates with you, right? So, oh my universe, oh my higher self, wake me up from a life um, as a spiritual sheep, right? So um, I, I do feel like this speaks to you kind of waking up to your own truth and you know, I wouldn't be surprised if either you're going through a spiritual awakening right now or if you have one coming up on the horizon or maybe you've just been through one. But anyway, I feel like this this awakening in particular is going to help you bring this like new sense of confidence and this new sense of self-belief within you that you feel like maybe you've been lacking in a certain area of your life. And you're going to bring this in with love. It's not going to be really forceful or anything, but... I do feel like you're starting to wake up to your own truth and it might look like, you know, maybe you're, you're washing your hair one day in the shower and you're like, uh, hang on. Like this thought comes to you and you're like, I don't have to do my work in this one way because this other person says that that's the best way to do it. Maybe my brain works differently and maybe there's a better or more efficient way that I can get this done. So I do feel like you are awakening to your higher truth, your higher self, what works for you, what's not working for you. And I do feel like you are up leveling in consciousness in some way. So I do feel like, um, you know, for those of you who are feeling tired and like, yes, I need some self care. You're definitely going through like some sort of spiritual awakening. So be easy on yourself. Okay. And then reframe. So this says, this is happening for me, not to me. Yeah, so I feel like that spiritual awakening that either you've been through or you're going through or you're about to go through, it's going to bring a lot of reframing into your life. So you're going to be able to see situations that were really hurtful and that broke you down in a whole new light. I feel like you're also going to be able to just go ahead and bless the things that broke you down. And you're going to be able to see why it is that you went through certain things um, in order to get where you are right now. And I've really drawn to this citrine crystal. So, you know, I feel like for those of you who have been working on your, you know, your sense of personal power or, you know, your self-confidence, um, you know, standing in your own truth. I love working with citrine. I think that it's um, an amazing stone. It's connected to the solar plexus 
chakra or chakra um, and you know it talks about will and personal confidence and power and so I think it's a great stone to work with. Um, we do have this in stock at the Modern Muse Crystal Shop if you um, want to get your hands on one of those. Um, yes and clear quartz is always a super nice one too to help with your manifestation. Um, it's an amplifier so it's a great uh, manifestation tool. I love like setting intentions with these so clear quartz is always a good one. Okay so yes. Okay and then the next card that we have here is the full moon in Aquarius. So this one says be real. And now when I, when I first pulled this card, I was like, excuse me, like, be real. Like, what are we talking about? Like, the only people that watch these readings are the realest people out there. So, <laughs> you know what I mean? You catch my drift. Like, we're authentic around here in this community. So, um, I was like, what's up with this, like, be real thing? But, um, what I think it's talking to is, you know, I'm not sure if some of you are prone to, like, people-pleasing, but part of your self-care could involve telling somebody or something or some experience no. Um, some of you, you know, I feel like you are in the energy of overextending yourself. Um, maybe your cup is feeling empty. You know, maybe you feel like you pour yourself into others and other things and you feel depleted by the end of everything. Um, you know, and I think we end up doing a lot of things in life for other people for the wrong reasons, but you are being asked right now to, to really think about the things that are the best for you, right? So this is your call to stop chasing after the things that are out of alignment with your life and what you want for it, right? And what you know you deserve. I do feel like, you know, if you're, if you've been feeling stressed, this is your sign to give yourself a break. Like, I know this can be um, tough for some people, but even if it's a 10 minute break, like doing something that actually makes you smile, um, just know that it'll be worth it. So for those of you who, you know, even maybe had to let a person go or a job or a situation that was ultimately wearing you down, but making things worse for your well-being, um, just know that it's okay to still, you know, like feel angry, like be real, right? Don't like, don't hide your emotions about it, right? Let yourself feel your feelings and it's, you know, allow yourself to, if you feel angry, it's okay. If you feel sad or regret over what happened, that's okay. And, you know, shoot, it's even normal to miss what was or wonder if you made the right decision by letting this person or experience go, but just hold space for yourself moment to moment. And, you know, if you need support, um, I think the first thing is identifying maybe the type of support that you need. Sometimes it's not always therapy, right? But sometimes therapy is helpful too. Um, so yeah, it just depends. Or sometimes a life coach, it, just, it all just depends. Or, you know, maybe it's like a trusted mentor in the community or family member or close friend. So you guys know who you can reach out to. I think um, everybody has that person that they know they can trust. And if you don't have that person, because a lot of people out there don't have that one person they can trust, sometimes um, having like an objective third party, like therapist, counselor, coach, whatever, it can be really helpful too. So yes. And um, also, I feel like the full moon in Aquarius, like whatever it is that you've been wanting to manifest or um, actualize, just take a look, um, be on the lookout during the full moon, during the full moon in Aquarius, um, because that might give you some indication into like when your manifestation might be, um, kind of showing its evidence in the real world or in the, in the real world. Who am I kidding? What's real? But <laughs> in the external world. So yes. Okay. So the next card that we have here is the Jaguar card. So this is a confirmation that something will be beneficial to release, right? 
so you got to let go of something. It's going to be helpful, right? So maybe this is an old thought pattern. Maybe this is like limiting unequal relationships, toxic relationships. Maybe you're going to let go of physical things in your home to make more space for you to breathe. Or maybe you're going to release an idea into its physical form into the world. So maybe you dream of having a, sorry for the out of focus. Um, maybe you dream of having a knitting business and um, you know, you finally make your first scarf and you know, you're excited to share that with people. Um, that would be like an example of that. But, um, yeah, anyway, some of you, I feel like you might need to have a good long, hard cry. Um, maybe some of you need to jump in the water or soak in a bath. So some of you who wish to work with goddess energy, you can work with the goddess Ishel. You can look her up and look in to, you know, how to call her in to help you release or cleanse or birth something into life. All right, and let's actually move this card here. Oops. Okay. So we've got a self-care card. It is an affirmation card. If I can get into focus. Okay. So this card says, owning our story and loving ourselves through that process is the bravest thing that we'll ever do. Brene Brown. So this question says, what is a negative narrative you tell about yourself? Take a breath and let it go. So what is a negative story that you tell about yourself? So for me, I'll share mine. I used to say, I'm so shy. I'm so shy. Oh, this is a better job for you because I'm just so shy. I feel like that ultimately at the end of the day was a way for myself to excuse myself out of potentially getting hurt or failing or or not achieving what I set my heart out to. And now this can mean many different things for many different people, but this was just my experience. And um, the more I told myself that I was so shy, the more I really embodied being a really shy, meek person. And once I started telling myself a different narrative, a different story that I, I <clears throat> I'm not meek. I'm not shy. I am introverted. I am quieter. I tend to like smaller interactions, but this doesn't mean I can't go and do the extroverting things. It doesn't mean I don't like connecting with people. It doesn't mean I don't like going. I mean, for those who know me and like, if you're any one of my friends here, like, you know, like we have a good time. Like we, we, we really chop it up. But, um, you know, if, if I were to tell myself like, Hey, you're so shy. Like I would never be going out and having any friends, you know? Anyway, I, there's a better way to say that, but you catch my drift. Um, so yes, what is a negative narrative that you tell about yourself? Take a breath and let it go. So yes, we'll just do that. Okay. All right. Okay. And then what I want to do is I want to roll the mindfulness dice. So here we have a set of mindfulness dice and this is six dice, thousands of possible combinations. And basically um, you just roll the dice and um, it tells you what sort of mindfulness would be really helpful for you. So, okay, I haven't used these in a long time. So let's shake up the energy real quick. Okay, so let's, I, it's a lot of messages. So I typically like to work with just a couple. Um, let's just work with two. So let's see. Okay. Ooh. Okay. That one wants to just come out. That one says love more. I'll bring it up closer. Okay. And then we'll just, okay. So the mindfulness dice that you, Oops. okay. <clears throat> okay so these are the mindfulness dice that you got so the first one here says love more so is there something that you can pour a little bit more of your love into maybe that's slowing down and you know taking your kids to the park and showing them a little bit more time and presence um, in your free time right um instead of like maybe hanging out at home, like, and just having all the screens going and everyone just watching their screen, maybe 
getting out and like engaging at the park something what can or what can you do to love more right maybe it's showing your pet more love your spouse your partner more love yourself more self-love and then this oops <clears throat> It was fine forgiveness. I moved that. So fine forgiveness. So think about somebody that you need to forgive. I feel like this pile, especially with the energy, let me, there we go. Okay. <clears throat> so with the energy here, um, kind of feeling that resistance to change, I feel like maybe there is somebody that you can... I feel like there is somebody that you can find forgiveness in. So that might be helpful to your self-care journey as well. So love more, find forgiveness. Okay, so I hope that you enjoyed this reading. Um, if you love this reading, I would super duper appreciate it if you just gave this video a big thumbs up. It's really helpful for the channel and um, definitely drop down in the comments. Let me know what pile you chose, um, what resonated. Let me know anything that you want to talk about further in detail. Um, I love to have you guys be just as much of the creative process as, um, <clears throat> you know, I have. So anyway, and then one more announcement. If you guys are interested in getting um, any of the crystals that you see here today, um, you can visit the Modern Muse Crystal Shop, and that is at modernmusecrystals.com. And until next time, I will see you later. Bye, Pile 1. Bye, Pile 2. If you chose the Black Tourmaline Chunk, then you are in the right spot, and let's dive right into your reading. So the first card that we have here is the Knight of Cups. So with the Knight of Cups here... I'm wondering if some of you have been feeling like your emotions or your mood kind of go up and down. Maybe sometimes you're feeling content um, and then sometimes you're feeling really triggered in another moment. You know, maybe you feel like your emotions sometimes take over and take control like o over your life. I don't know if it ever feels that way, but you know, it can be tough to get through daily things because, you know, we can be so overwhelmed with feelings, but I feel like the type of self-care that you're being directed to is emotional support. So this can look like a lot of things. This can look like working with a counselor, working with a therapist, maybe a mental health professional, hiring on a life coach. Um, maybe this is getting an emotional support animal. Maybe this is journaling or writing, singing, or, you know, expressing your emotions in a creative way. Um, there's definitely no wrong way. There's no right way, no one right way to do it. But a specific message for some of you is that there might be something important that you need to communicate to someone. Maybe it's a boundary. Maybe it's a decision that you've made. Um, I do feel like you have to do what's best for you. This is your sign to not avoid conflict. Definitely say what needs to be said. And then the next card that we have here is the world in reverse. So let me just get that into focus. Okay, the world in reverse. So with the world in reverse here, um, the self-care that you're being directed to is to seek personal closure with an issue that's been on your mind. So maybe something has ended and you're grappling with it mentally. Maybe you're overthinking things, ruminating, or feeling bad about the way that things ended up. This is your call to get some more closure. You know, this doesn't mean that you have to reach out to this specific person again or interact or dive into hurtful experiences anymore. But this could mean, you know, you writing a letter to this person, expressing how you feel and then like ripping it up and destroying it and disposing of it, you know, disposing of that old energy. This might be helpful for those of you who know making contact with this person again would not be in your best interest. Um, but you're being asked to let go of like any old attachments that you might still have. Um, you know, as far as anything that you feel like you've been like holding on to. And maybe it's physically like physical attachments that you need to let go of. So maybe you have your aunt's old pot um, or pan in the kitchen and 
you just have no use for them, but you feel so bad and you don't want to like throw it away because it's your pot that your aunt got for you, right? But you know, it needs to find another home. So there's some clearing away that has to be done here. I feel like you're going to be doing like a cleaning of house, you know? I feel like maybe literally you're finally going to be out here blocking people who are wasting your time and energy. Um, you know, I do feel like maybe you're going to be setting some boundaries with your family. Um, for some of you, I heard in-laws, but some of you are really close to achieving a goal that you've had, but maybe you've been feeling burnt out or unsure that you can run this final lap to the finish line. So this is your sign to rest and not quit. Go ahead and take a spa day, you know, take a sick day off, run off into nature and bring a book and throw that cell phone on silent and live your life. Okay, and the next card that we have here is the cherry card. So I don't know if the cherries are of any significance to you all, or if you just like cherries, maybe you don't like cherries at all, but the symbology behind cherries here is um, to find something that brings the sweetness out in your life. And I feel like that's the kind of self-care that you're being directed to. And so this card right here, it says, it is the sweet, simple things of life, which are the real ones after all. Lara Ingalls Wilder. I hope I said that right. But yeah, I feel like this is your call to find the simple, sweet things that bring you joy in life that might be helpful in your self care routine. So maybe it's that you love to, you know, bake a rhubarb pie and it just, the sense that it fills your home up with, like everything about it, it just makes you really happy. That might be the type of self care that you need. So think about that one thing that makes you really, really happy. And, um, you know, that thing that really just like, I don't know, even like something that like evokes your senses, you know, that's always like a nice, like refreshing, like revitalizing energy. So yes. Okay. The next card that we have here is full moon in Virgo. So you're also being asked to take action on something that you've been dreaming about. You know, that thing that makes you think, you know, hey, I can do that or I can do this a little bit better or in a more innovative way. Part of your self-care is getting out of your head and getting into action. So maybe this looks like making a simple to-do list. And I know this sounds counterintuitive because we're talking about self-care, but sometimes we do have to have the tools that will help us feel organized internally so that we can ease our... Oh, I'm so sorry about the focus there. Okay, so thanks for hanging in there with me. But yeah, sometimes, um, you know, we do need to get internally organized so that our nervous system feels more at ease. So, you know, if you are getting, um, like, overwhelmed or, you know, if you feel like you just can't take another step, okay, let's do an exercise real quick. I want you to take a deep and slow breath. So... Hold it at the top. And release. Let's do it again. Inhale. Hold it at the top. Let it go. One more time. Inhale. Hold it at the top and release. Okay, now I want you to think of one simple thing that you can do to move the needle forward towards meeting that specific goal that you have. So if you want to be a soccer player, and you haven't had much practice yet or any lessons, maybe the first step would be to go out and buy some shoes. Another piece of self-care that you need right now is to acknowledge that you have been doing a good job and you have been doing your very best lately and that you have been working really hard on something. No matter if you've been working on this behind the scenes, just know that you deserve some recognition. And a great day to work your self-care magic is when the moon is in Virgo. So this is on a Wednesday. Okay, 
So the next card that we have here is right action. Right action. And this is a parigraha, literally means let everything that wants to go, go, and everything that wants to come, come. So you are being reminded that this release process is going to be an action that is right for you as far as your self care. So, you know, I feel like in let in the letting go you are being led towards the right actions you are clearing the energetic debris so that you can see the clear way forward so i don't know if you've been seeing signs i don't know if i'm um, like spirit animal totems resonate with you at all but if you've been seeing signs symbol synchronicities just know that you are on the right path and that you know you are being protected you are being and you are being guided the next, oh, see, can't make this up. The next card that we have here is signs. So this says instincts are the message from the inner divine. So yeah, you guys have definitely been receiving signs from the universe. Um, definitely keep your eyes peeled for repeating numbers, angel numbers, 111, 222, 333, 1111. They all mean different things. If you guys need a free guide to decipher all of those numbers, um, the link is in the description of this video. So I would check that out. It's a free angel number guide. But yes, I feel like you may have been seeing um, signs that you are on the right path, right? So for me, whenever I see a butterfly, um, it's a confirmation that I have nothing to worry about, that I'm on the right path. And it's not like whenever I see a butterfly, but it's like, I know in that like moment, like I might be stressing about something driving home and like worrying about like finances or something. And then I see a butterfly go by. It's just like a reassurance from the universe that like, it's going to be okay. Release the how, right? Just hold, hold the intention, hold the belief, hold the expectation, but release the how. So yeah, I do feel like you guys are, are definitely receiving signs and okay. So the next, oh my gosh. Okay. Yes. Sorry. I'm just like excited because all of this is, you know, I love it when the cards are all, um, when, when the messages are loud and clear. So yes, some of you may have butterfly as your sign. Um, but this also signals you going through this major transformation. So I am getting that part of your self care has to do with self trust. So some of you may find that meditation is one way to help you slow down and gain self trust in the moments that feel pretty stressful. So some of you may be getting like outdoors or doing a ropes course or building that inner trust with yourself. Some of you are going to be putting your creative ideas out there and this can look like networking. Um, you know, it can be in the traditional sense. Like I think, um, the energy of networking is going to be a really good one for you during the season. Like I'm thinking social butterfly. Um, you know, I feel like you've had to go through a lot of challenging times and often life has probably felt like a metamorphosis of sorts for you, you know, because you are blooming from one stage to another. And I feel like you've made a ton of growth. And as a result of having gone through some pretty downright difficult times, um, especially for those of you who have suffered, you know, like a lot, we've all suffered a loss in some way. So I just want to encourage you that everything um, that you've been through has been preparing you to be well resourced. Um, and I'm getting the energy of you knowing what to do the next time, right? What to look out for the next time. Like she's kind of like, it's like she's, it, it looks like, at least in her demeanor here to me, it looks like she's like, she's got her eyes on you. Like she knows what you're doing, you know? Like even if she doesn't have both eyes open, she still like intuitively knows what's going on. So yes, for those of you who have been seeing butterflies lately, this is definitely gonna be a sign or symbol for you. That's coming in super strong. So angel numbers, that's a confirmation as well that you're on the right path or that you're headed in the right direction and that all is well. So yes, let us dive into our self-care card. So this is a reflection card from the self-care deck. I link all my decks in the description of this video if you would like to try out any of these decks. But okay, this card right here says, a man cannot be comfortable without his own approval, Mark Twain. So this says, take some time before bed to appreciate yourself for who you are. You are on a unique path and you are doing the work. Fuck yeah. Sorry, I don't like to swear too much anymore because I like this to be a reading that is, you know, it's okay to like have playing in the background. I'm a mother, so I'm, I apologize for that. 
I apologize for swearing on camera, but yeah, because like I, I play, sometimes have readings playing in the background. I'm like, oh, sometimes it's not suitable for children. So anyway, um, yeah, I just feel like definitely this is your, your sign that before you go to bed each night, just list one thing that you appreciate about yourself because I am getting the feeling that you're not giving yourself enough credit for how gifted you truly are in some area of your life. So, yes, thank you so, so much for tuning in to this reading. If you would like to see more videos like this, I would appreciate it if you gave this video a thumbs up. Please subscribe if you're not a part of the community already. Um, and if you want to get your hands on any of these beautiful crystals that you saw today, I do have a crystal shop called the Modern Muse Crystal Shop, but you can go to modernmusecrystals.com and you can... Um, check out what we have in stock. We've got citrine, we've got tree agate, we've got some pretty cool unique pieces. We've got um, a rhodonite, semi-polished rhodonite point here. Um, let me just grab a couple of the other ones and show it to you guys. Okay, here we have a lapis lazuli or lapis lazuli, however you would like to say it. And um, we have clear quartz here. Love that for manifesting. And then we have amethyst, pyrite, and this is flower agate and carnelian. So definitely check out the shop. If you don't see anything in the shop listed here, definitely feel free to email me at info at modernmusecrystals.com and I will be able to get you all set up. I am trying to get this back in focus. Here we go. Okay, <laughs> so thank you so much, Pile 3. Ooh, you know what? For those of you who stuck around, let's go ahead and roll oops, your mindfulness dice. I usually roll two, but three came out, so. All right, so the first thing says spread peace. So what can you do today to spread a little bit more peace? Maybe that's letting somebody cross the road. It can be as simple as that. Um, this one says be silent. So give yourself some more quiet time. I feel like we've, we're constantly turned on in this society. We have the TV going, our cell phones chiming with notifications, our kids asking us things, our spouse is asking us things, our dog's barking. Find some time to be silent because that is when we can hear messages from our higher self and our intuition that much clearer. Um, and then we have the two breaths card, two breaths card, two breaths block, which I need to take. I just have to go somewhere. Um, I have to go pick up my grandma from work. So I am trying to get through this quickly, but anyway, two breaths. Let's just all take two breaths. One more time. Hey, you got some self care in there today. <laughs> All right. Thank you so much, Pile 2. I will see you next time. Bye. Hi, Pile 3. If you chose the celestite egg, then you are in the right spot. And let's dive right into your reading. So Pile 3, first off, I do feel like you've been working really, really hard. And I feel like you have a lot of responsibilities on your plate. And I feel like no matter how this looks for you, I just get the energy of someone who needs to put a few balls down that they've been juggling. I feel like it's definitely time to bring your attention to your workload and like how much you've been carrying, um, you know, how much you've been taking on both consciously and unconsciously. I feel like in terms of the self care that you need right now, um, you know, I feel like you're being pointed towards identifying the specific things that are bogging or weighing you down right now. So I'm curious, what do you have on your plate right now that you just don't need to be carrying anymore? Because I do get the sense that some of you have been taking on everything for everyone but yourselves, and I do feel like you deserve the same love and care that you so willingly give to others. So for example, maybe you, um, felt pressured to, you know, spend your entire weekend off 
helping your friend move into their um, new place and you know maybe it's it's kind of something that's gonna take up all of your time and you've been strapped for time lately and you've been burnt out um, you've been working a lot and so a little bit of your free time I mean you know you would love to take a nap or you would love to get some rest or you'd love to do something that you love to do too right but you still want to be of help to your friend so I think this would be a call to like balance that out so Instead of telling your friend, hey, I'll help you all weekend, I'll use all of my time off to help you, I think that <clears throat> what you could do is you could say, hey, I'll help you on Saturday, but I can't help you on Sunday because I have other obligations, right? It's about prioritizing and scheduling in time for yourself and having those boundaries. So I do feel like it's re it's really important for you to remember that, you know, I mean, I feel like you know this, but I think sometimes we need a reminder that our life matters too. Your time is precious. And so you deserve to spend it taking care of yourself too. Um, for some of you, I do feel like you have multiple jobs. Maybe you're juggling multiple jobs or, um, you know, maybe that's not in the traditional sense, right? Because I feel like some of you could be parents, aunts, uncles, um, caregivers in some way. Some of you have animals. Some of you tend to um, plants and gardens and nurseries. So I do feel like this is the energy of having a lot to take care of. And I feel like you're doing it all really well. But, you know, I do sense that energetic burnout, like... <clears throat> If we look at this card a little bit clearer, you see that she's trying to carry everything by herself and she's struggling. So, you know, how much easier would it be for her to put some of this down, you know, maybe carry some of these wands over across the street to her destination and then come back for the rest, you know? And um, a specific message for those of you who have your own business, maybe you're an entrepreneur, um, maybe you got started with your own startup. Um, this is your call to start delegating. Start allowing other people to help you lighten your load because this is an indication that your load could be way too heavy right now. And trust me, I understand the energy of wanting to do it all, but you know, I feel like trying to do it all on your own because you can. Um, sometimes it can shoot us in the foot, right? It helps everybody else, but sometimes it can shoot us in the foot. And, you know, I do feel like it's time to ask yourself, where can you delegate some of those tasks out? Um, can somebody take care of your admin work? Um, phone calls, emails, you know? Um, after you get reset, get clarity on where those energetic boundaries, you know, lie and where they are. I do feel like a lot of you are going to be reaching a certain level of completion and this is going to be feeling really good, you know? It's going to feel really good after a period of hard work. So, yeah, I just feel like the main reminder here is to make some room in your life to actually enjoy it. And then here we got the King of Wands in reverse. So with the King of Wands in reverse here, another type of self-care that you're being asked to do is to slow down in some way. So I am getting the energy of having so many things to do, but feeling like there isn't enough hours in the day. <clears throat> in the day. And some of you may be dealing with a boss that maybe isn't the best leader or isn't the type of leader that you need them to be. But I do feel like some of you may be struggling with the energy of rushing into things before fully thinking things through. I can tell that you have a lot of responsibilities that you need to take care of. And maybe you haven't felt comfortable with allowing others around you to come in and to support that vision. I feel like whether you're an employee or you have a company of your own, you need to know that you do actually have natural leadership abilities and you know, maybe some of you don't always feel the most comfortable having to communicate those daily <clears throat> to-dos and tasks that need to be completed in order to achieve the overarching goal. So I feel like another type of self-care that you need right now is to adjust your expectations, um, you know, for yourself, for other people around you. 
um, for your work, for creative projects that might be feeling a little bit stressful right now. Um, I do feel like if you're working towards something, it would be important to set an intention on your part, um, take action, and then let the universe take the wheel from there. Um, <clears throat> We definitely can't control everything and we most certainly you know can't micromanage the universe so this is definitely your reminder to stay true to your vision and what matters to you i feel like this is also your call to stay true to your vision and what matters to you you know don't fall into other people's like shoulds about life so yes Okay, and so the next card that we have here is the house card. So I do feel like some of the self-care that you do need is has to do with being at home, beautifying your home, tending to your home, or recharging at home. Um, as you can see in this card, there's a lot of growth that is coming out of this house. A lot of things are in bloom. And so I do think that by you spending time at home, recharging, clearing your space, making it feel really good to you, I do feel like that is going to throttle your growth in some way. And then on the back of the card here, it says, it is in the shelter of each other that people live. And this is an Irish proverb. So yeah, I do feel like you also are being asked to Go ahead and spend some time with those that mean the most to you. Maybe it's family, maybe it's a pet, maybe it's a close friend, maybe it's your, your spouse or, you know, your lover or whatever it is. This is your call to just reach out to others for support, allow other people to shelter you in some way, and, and yeah. Okay, and then the next card that we have here is First Quarter Moon in Taurus, Release Control. So part of your self-care is going to be learning how to go with the flow, not forcing things, not rushing things, just allowing things to unfold. I do get that you've been working really hard towards something or on something, and sometimes it can be tough to loosen up your grip. So this is your reminder that, you know, Miracles flow in when we let go. So if you have been feeling like you've been just encountering obstacle after obstacle after obstacle, um, just know that this is all divine preparation or redirection for you. Sometimes we get little reminders that we need to um, release the how around, you know, how we're going to receive our blessings or reach our dreams, right? We can keep holding that intention. We can keep, um, we can keep taking action on our part. But um, <clears throat> one of the main things that's important in manifestation is to let go and to surrender and to release the, out, um, release the how around how you're going to get to your outcome. So I feel like this is the energy of just staying possible to both expected and unexpected possibilities and surprises. So... I'm also hearing that some of you are halfway there or more than halfway there. Um, you know, for some of you, I also feel like you might be stuck on something or someone that has um, maybe hurt you. And I think part of your self-care um, is acknowledging this hurt. You know, you're human and I feel like maybe it's time to acknowledge that you do deserve better treatment from others around you. There might be some helpful practices that will help you to let go of people, places, and things that were not in service to your heart. Um, you know, I do feel like sitting in whatever type of meditation works for you, whether that's in the traditional sense or whether that's taking a, you know, a stroll on the beach or just kind of sitting in nature. Maybe you're going to do yoga or exercise, um, you know, sit in a steam bath, get a good workout sweat in scheduling that next appointment with your therapist, you know, because I feel like intrusive thoughts could be a thing for some of you here and just know that you aren't alone. Um, there's strategies out there and it's just about finding 
the right support that works best for you. Um, and yeah, a great day to work your self-care magic is when the moon is in Taurus, which is on a Friday. Okay, and then the next card that you have here is self-love. So part of your self-care is going to involve self-love in some way. And this card says, Let the wall fall that separates me from my own vulnerable inner child. I long to take care of myself like never before. So yeah, I feel like this is your call to reconnect with your inner child. What did you love to do as a child? What did you dream about? What did you aspire to do, to be, to have? What really like lit you up and made you really happy? I feel like this is all really important when it comes down to self-love. I think it also, I, I also like to like bring attention to self-love is also really tied in to self-worth. Um, self-love comes from having self-worth and I feel like for those of you who have been feeling like others have been taking oops, taking advantage of you or crossing your boundaries, I do feel like a lot of you are going to be diving into self-worth and self-love and this is going to help you set those boundaries easier because if you know that you are worthy of kindness and you know you're worthy of clear communication and you know you're worthy of, you know, solid non-flaky energy, then I think that what you tolerate and what you don't tolerate from people is going to be a lot different. So self-love is definitely something that you are being called to in terms of what kind of self-care you need. And then the next card that we have here is energetic clearing. So with energetic clearing, you know, I feel like this is another confirmation that we were talking about. Um, with releasing control. Oops, let's let's just get this all in focus. Okay. So yeah, I feel like this this card and this card are related, right? It's about release. It's about relinquishing um, that that need to micromanage everything, right? I feel like a lot of you might be doing like a release ceremony of some sort, writing a letter expressing your feelings, ripping it up, you know, discarding of that energy, releasing it, letting go. I do feel like a lot of you are also cutting off toxic relationships during this time. That's part of your energetic clearing. Some of you are doing a major cleaning of house. Maybe you're getting rid of things that you don't use or you don't need anymore. Um, and I just also feel like some of you are doing an energetic clearing with your mindset and your beliefs about yourself and what you think you could do and what you think you deserve and that you're worthy of. So this is going to be a nice opportunity to wipe the slate clean and start fresh. So this next card here is the tiger card. So it says will. So I feel like the self-care thing is going to be something that refuels your spark. It's going to be the thing that gets you up and going again, right? It's going to leap you into action in some way. I do sense that your personal power and confidence is going to feel really, really strong during this phase. So I feel like you're going to be in the energy of like taking control, like taking back control of your life in some way. So for those of you who are parents out there, I do also get the energy of like you telling other people or maybe in-laws that like you've got you've got it, like you don't need the extra like input or kind of criticism or advice from others on how to parent your children. Um, I'm just getting that energy in this reading as well for those of you who have children. Um, but yes, I also feel like there's going to be this fierceness that you're going to have about protecting your energy and your boundaries. So well done. So here we have a self-care card and this says inspiration. And then on the back of this card, it says, take time off. The world will not fall apart without you. So dedicate a day in the future to self-care. Plan a trip to see a new movie or a day at home reading your favorite book. So whatever activity will leave you feeling relaxed and refreshed. So yes, this is your call to just take a day off. I think that is a really, really clear message. There's not much to decipher through this card. It's literally just take a day off. Don't worry about it. The world's not going to fall apart without you and literally just dive into self-care. 
if you love going to the spa book a spa day if you feel like you just want to keep it simple and stay home and just close your eyes and breathe in silence that is a great plan too so yes so next we're gonna get into next we're gonna get into your mindfulness dice so we're gonna roll your mindfulness dice it's just gonna give us a little oops a little moment of mindfulness okay pile three what does pile three need to know in terms of what kind of self-care they need okay so the first block we have here says set intention so yeah, I, like I said, I think the tone of this reading was a lot about releasing control, surrendering, and I think this is an important reminder that I feel like when you feel like, oh my gosh, like, is everything going to work out for me? Um, am I going to be able to make all of my bills next month? Am I going to be able to reach my goals? Just come back to your why, come back to your intention, remember what it is that you're here to do, why you're here to do this, because... I think that getting back to our why, getting back to our intention, really helps to recenter us when we feel like we're going off track with our worries. And then we also have the alternating breath. So, alternating breath. So, this is a call for you to um, maybe dive into some some breath work and some some different techniques with breathing. I feel like this is going to calm your nervous system, so go ahead and look up alternating breath, or if you already know how to do this, um, this might be a really good self-care practice for you. So, yes. So I just wanted to thank everyone for tuning into this reading. If this reading was helpful, I would love it if you could give this video a big thumbs up. It really helps the channel. Um, if you feel called to subscribe, I would love to have you here. Definitely comment below and let me know what pile you chose and what resonated with you. Um, if you are interested in getting your hands on any of these beautiful crystal babies that you saw today, um, you can check out modernmusecrystals.com. That's my crystal shop. Um, I have crystals and it's also a gift shop for the modern muse in mind. So I also do have... Um, beautiful gold filled necklaces as well and I will give it a little show here hard to see hard to see but yeah those are the necklaces sorry so bright but minimal jewelry you'll be able to see it better on my website anyway thank you so much pile three I hope you have a beautiful day and I will see you next time bye